as well. Here's this week's postcard from Hampton Roads. Imagine being able to have the whole universe under one roof. Well, if it's the domed roof of the Chesapeake Planetarium, you can do it. I want to introduce you now to Dr. Robert Hitt. And this is a very unique place to visit, not only for what you can do, but for the opportunity it gives children and the public to come and learn. Right, it's a very exciting environment. We can produce the stars, the sun, the moon, the planets, and literally take you out of this world. So this was the first planetarium that was specifically built for a school system. Right, this planetarium is a direct result of the Russians launching Sputnik in 1957. And the United States government put some money out called the National Defense Education Act. It was built in 1962-63 school year and will be 50 years old next year. Wow, and even though you know you can kind of look around, we were talking about how some of the technology is a little bit of a throwback, you are still keeping kids kind of ahead of the curve. All right, we've added so much equipment over the past years that we, are, we have the, the best technology right now, but it's rapidly changing. But we have video and lots of visuals, and we can produce a, a, a panorama of another world and let students actually see what it'd be like to take a trip into space, mm -hmm. which I think a lot of students find really exciting. I don't have any discipline problems because they really enjoy what they see. In the daytime, the sun's You know, some folks would say, well, you know, only a very, very small percent of the population ever would become an astronaut. Right. But what do you think every child, whether their aspirations are out of this world or not, I think takes away? I think they're excited about what the potential is the future could hold. And yeah. I think a lot of them do think they could be in space one day, and they may be. We tell a lot of the third graders that we teach today that they could be the first person to walk on Mars because Mars will be the first planet humans will explore, and a lot of these young children have that potential. And we had one student who emailed me not too long ago and said she wanted to be an astronaut. She says, I'm not an astronaut, but I am a professional astronomer working at the Giant Telescopes in Hawaii. How does that make you feel? It was when amazing. You, you know, somebody got picked up that kind of inspiration here. It was amazing. You never know what an experience like this will how it will affect a student. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had students, so one of them is now editor of Astronomy Magazine, so you have students who have this vision of the future in space and it becomes a reality to them if they like it. Sometimes large objects in space collide with Earth. And a lot of students are visual learners. They get a lot more out of seeing something than trying to read it or, or just hear about it. Mm -hmm. So a visual experience is sometimes the best for some students. Mm -hmm. You said students can be a person who wants to learn no matter the age they are. So make sure you go and learn more about the program that you would like to see and get your seat inside the Chesapeake Planetarium and then buckle your seatbelt for the right. ride out of space. And when you get here, tell them the Hampton Road Show sent you. Yeah, so again, first, Chesa first planetarium built just for a school system right after mm -hmm. the Russians lost spa space, uh, Sputnik. Space, space. The, yes, exactly. So our government put a lot of money toward uh, the sciences, the sciences space for, def for defense purposes, really. Right. Um, so that's been almost 50 years old now. And right. um, Dr. Hitt is really amazing. He's a great artist, too. Mm -hmm. If you've seen some of his work, you can catch it online. But uh, tomorrow night, every Thursday night, there are free programs for the public. You do have to reserve a seat, though, at the planetarium because it's only so big. And they're really popular. It's down there on Cedar Road. Uh, if you want more information about the Thursday programs, 547-0153. And, of course, we'll put the information at thehamptonroadshow.com. That's right. really cool. Very cool. Yeah. Good job. Okay. I like that.